Richard Brewster here again to give a quick demo of the 10H to the third, as it's called by Instruo. This is a module with three identical sections, one manual control per section, one input and one output. So what does it do? Well, it a, applies a 10H function to the waveform coming in, and it's adjustable. So it's a wave distortion device, but almost more importantly than that, it's a type of uh, compressor. It, it will both expand and, and limit the incoming signal, which is nice if you're going to put it into the feedback, a feedback loop or the signal, it will keep the feedback from running away. So what I've got patched now is I have the output of this oscillator coming to just an attenuator so I can vary the input level. And then going to the input over here, then the output is we're just listening to. So right now I'm just going to I have the uh, setting on the 10H all the way down. I'm just going to gradually turn up the input level. So you can see on the data, the green uh, trace is the input signal and the yellow is the output signal and you'll see that at the lowest setting here uh, basically it's not doing too much to the waveform and it's slightly attenuated now I'm going to turn up the volume all the way here then I'm going to the control. So the first thing you see is it kind of rounds it out into the triangle wave, into a sine wave. see it it sort of squares up uh, the the triangle wave that's coming in makes it sound more like a square wave now the interesting thing to note here is that the output of the 10 H as with the output of the Athru are limited to plus minus 5 volts so you don't have to worry about over uh, driving it and sending the signal toward the rails so it's actually compressing but here's an interesting thing. Let's say I turn up this all the way on the instro, and then I start bringing up the level here. Notice how low the input is, the green trace, and how it's being amplified. Significantly, so it's it's uh, it's expanding this level. So that's the 10H, which if you put a very um, kind of
kind of wild signal into it. It's going to tame it to some degree, but it's also going to maintain its level uh, the farther you turn up its control. So it's very good for um, adding harmonics to a um, low content signal like a triangle or a sine wave and for both expanding and limiting the input signal.